Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Milwaukee Beer Review. This is a unique one because we've got six of us on camera at the same time. Um, so this is our official championship bracket for our Wisco March Madness Beer Challenge uh, that we've been kind of showcasing in the last couple of videos. So um, you've got all of our guest stars here as we've been kind of chewing through this bracket of 16 um, and we're going to try these one last time and ultimately pick our winner. So we are officially in the final four mm -hmm. uh, of this bracket. So we've got our stout winner, our IPA winner, our wheat beer winner, and our sour winner. So uh, the first two that are going to be battling it out is um, the stout that we chose that made it to the final four, which is Cow Cult. Um, and that is by what brewing company? Driftless. Driftless thank you. Driftless Brewing Company. Um, and that is actually facing off against our sour winner, which is Alphabetical Order by Company Brewing. So um, let's start. Two very different beers. Very, yeah. very, very different style. Beers. Very different beers. <laughs> this is an interesting way to do this. So let's get a little nose again on the, uh, on the stout, on the Driftless. So if you remember from the stout bracket, the drift was kind of one based. It was a good beer, very solid stout. I think the other ones were not very they're underwhelming. This one was just kind of a solid, more well put together stout. The them. best yeah. overall. Yeah, um, it's definitely got those milk stout notes mm -hmm. on it. Um, Roasty. Let's taste this yeah. thing again. Cheers, right, everybody. cheers, everyone. Cheers. cheers. Hmm. It's really good. I mean, yeah, yeah, we, we, out. yeah, we had this yesterday. Um, a little more coffee on this one. I'm tasting. I don't think it's a coffee nod. It's like stout coffee that you get that yeah. kind of comes through. The here. You get some yeah. coffee in it. Roasty, uh -huh. typical milk stout notes. Again, I don't think anything to write home about no. as far as like. There's no adjuncts in this. There's nothing crazy. It's just a pretty standard milk stout. And well done. Better than I remember, though. I'll say yeah. that. Like yeah. it, is, it definitely mm -hmm. tastes better than I remember when we had it yesterday. So nice roasty malts. The, you get the the smoothness from the milk stout aspect of it with the mm -hmm. lactose. So yeah. it uh, works yeah. well. And even and so, though there was only one guest per video, all of us have tried all of these mm -hmm. beers. I did not try the stout yesterday. That's oh, a great oh, surprise. Right. I, oh, came later. Did. So I did not. Right. So this is the first time I tried it. So, but it's good. Well, yeah. Yeah. All right, so now we move on to the sour, alphabetical order of... Alphabetical order from companies. companies. Okay. Yep. You just get grapefruit right away. Yep. Yeah, a ton of grapefruit that. or pink guava, whatever the heck that smells like. Like this. Like this. Like this. <laughs> it smells like this. It obviously smells like this. But yeah, you definitely smell this is going to be a sour, this is going to be a tart beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Different beer than just <laughs> A lot of times, yeah, that's a that's a crazy transition from some, <laughs> sometimes the sixteen seed beats the one. Mm. All right, cheers. Let's, let's give this a go. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, 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 everyone drink it, Chuck Josh. <laughs> I was oh, just God, that's yeah, solid, super, Ooh. super sour. Yeah, it's good. I mean, that's for a sour good. beer. Mm -hmm. Now that we're doing two styles, this makes it much more difficult uh -huh. to choose. Yeah, it does. It's, it's, it's really hard you to you got to choose which point. one did their style better. Um, that's really what you've got to think about. I guess I'll start. Real quick before we go, because we have six of us. We need a tiebreaker, just in case I have something in mind. So if it comes down to that point, I'll announce it after we have the okay. tie. So it's a really simple tiebreaker. But... Okay. I am going to give it to company brewing in the alphabetical order because personally i just think they did the style better i, I think the milk stout's great from driftless um but if i had to choose the better beer the more well-made beer i'm going with alphabetical all right let's just go in order then. okay i agree the the stout is good if this was maybe the fall heading into colder weather maybe i would lean towards the stout but the sour is just super solid um, really drinkable. I would definitely choose that one. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to a company as well. The sour just, I like more flavors and more different notes in my stouts. This is a little too basic for me. So, I'm actually gonna go the same way with alphabetical, um, which is surprising for me because I normally lean towards stouts over like sours. Um, but I just, it, the amount of flavors and stuff in that one and just overall very solid. I, I'm going to kind of agree here. I think it was much closer than I expected. Um, 
as I drank the stout again for the second day, you know, it's it's actually a lot better than I remember it being. I like that kind of roastiness that we're getting out of it. Um, I think the sours are just a better beer. I think it's just it's made slightly better and it's a lot more flavor, like it packs more of a punch behind it. So yeah. well, since alphabetical has five votes, we really don't care what Frank thinks. Yeah, well, so Taylor didn't care what Ross had said either because yeah. they went Sam. <laughs> yeah. But what would you vote? Uh, I mean, this is tough, and these are very differing styles, and on some days, I'm probably going to want that, that stout, but right here today, I'm definitely feeling the, the, the sour more, right. the alphabetical order. I'm actually right. very sour surprised. Movie. I am yeah. too, yeah. yeah. I'm very surprised. So Congrats we can, we can company, set our stout aside and leave yep. that as our winner as we, we move on. That's All right. right. So, second half of our final four, uh, we have the wheat versus the IPA. These are two kind of interesting beers that we have for the wheat. We have also the big 2.0. Again, also out of Plover, Wisconsin, and this is an orange peel uh, style wheat ale. Um, and then from the IPA standpoint, we have Carbon Four Brewing out of Madison, Wisconsin, is the Narnia Business, which is a double. It's a strawberry milkshake double IPA. Um, st- again, so two completely different styles, very different beers. Yep. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this one comes out because from what we had just earlier today, um, but we remember how we have a little difference. So why don't we start with the Oso? Yeah. So, Yeah, I mean, a little so, citrus on the nose. Mm-hmm. Um, interesting drinking this right after the sour. Yeah. yeah. Um, because the sour is super pungent, and this is yeah. a little bit less it was pungent. Tame. Yeah. It had yeah. good orange, but. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. get right. any orange off the no? Uh, no? Yeah, I don't get too much on the I'm nose. I'm smelling either. it, no. I get a little bit, but it's subtle. It's not It's not pronounced. All right. All right. All right cheers, everyone. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, everybody. We all waited this time. Yep. <laughs> yeah. After drinking the the sour, I'm not getting as much citrus as I did originally. Um, no, that, that's fair. I think like, it's still a solid. You get you get out. a little bit of that orange, and it's it's even when we had off the bat earlier, it, it was not. Up front. It was subtle. It mm-hmm. was subtle throughout. And yeah. It makes a very just kind of nice drinking beer. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a good summer beer and sitting outside and relaxing. It's not going to fill you up. It's not heavy. Mm-hmm. Um, even for a wheat ale, I expect wheat ales to be slightly heavier. This one isn't in, mm-hmm. not in a bad way though. Yeah. I think yeah. that's why I'm not <laughs> loving it because I'm expecting it to be heavier and this is just very meh. Yeah, it's and the a, flavor profiles for my taste. It's a standard wheat beer. I yeah. mean, mm-hmm. with some citrus, and I think it's well done. Um, but yeah, to your point, it's not a heavy beer. Yeah, it's a refreshing beer. It's yeah. a beer I'd like mm-hmm. to drink on a hot day in a beer garden or yeah. out at a park. Yeah. That would mm-hmm. be fantastic. Tailgating. Um, uh, I wouldn't, you know, Tailgating say it's my yeah. favorite wheat or anything yeah. like that. But it's definitely yeah, dang tasty. All right, move on to Carbon Four and Narnia Business. Narnia so. Business. Yep. Mm-hmm. There's that strawberry. <laughs> yeah. Strawberries and cream. It smells good. Mm-hmm. The vanilla really just adds a nice. It does. Like, and that's what I think. I even smell more than the strawberries. I get yeah. a lot of that vanilla. A lot of vanilla. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Just mm. such a good beer. Mm-hmm. It's solid. Very good, and I think the strawberry, like that strawberry and cream that you just said, I don't know why we didn't say it in the last one, but that, that stuff got obvious flavor profile to this, and it just mm-hmm. had such a nice, like nice mouthfeel for this, but also it's got that slight bitterness at the end, it kind of just cut a little bit of that, mm-hmm. that yeah. sweetness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's start with Frank, what do you think? Uh, between these two, I'm, I'm going to go with the Narnia business. I mean, I, I, I'm a fan, milkshake IPAs in my mind can be pretty hit or miss, I've had some that are very... Bad. I've had some that are very good, and this is definitely uh, in, in the latter. This is this is very good. The um, I definitely get more vanilla than strawberry, but you definitely get a little bit of this the fruitiness there. But to me, that sweet vanilla mouthfeel, it's a very rich feeling beer. Yeah. Um, the vanilla sweetness, but then it doesn't linger because, like you said, the, the hops kind of cuts that. Mm-hmm. Like if it wasn't for that the the IPA factor of it, it would probably be way too sweet. But that just cuts it enough to make it really well balanced and very mm-hmm. enjoyable. Yeah. I'm going to go with Narnia Business um, for pretty much the same things that Frank just said. It's just, they're both very good beers. Uh, I can definitely see myself probably drinking the Wheat Hill more outside and having several back-to-back. Well, this is probably just a one-off, but as far as just the flavoring, strawberry IPA. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. I'm going to just go with what they said pretty much. <laughs> um, but same thing, I think it's just really well like balanced with um, kind of what Frank said with the little bit of the IPA-ness. just makes it Sorry, well balanced. Anything for anyone else IPA-ness. All right. <laughs> what, Molly? I didn't See? realize it. I... <laughs> <laughs> not it. You started I... a trend. <laughs> I am also going Narnia business. It reminds me of the small, um, what are they, the cream savers. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, and then you get the hops in the back, so it's mm-hmm. just like all rounded, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't remember no, what no, they were called. <laughs> first, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do they make those anymore? I don't know. I haven't seen so. one of those in a long time. They they do. Lifesavers, if you're in watching. liquid form. <laughs> yeah, <here it> is. <laughs> but yes, I'm going here. Not that it matters for us, <laughs> but if I was choosing a fallback beer, where if I was going to buy like a pack of beer for tailgating or something i'd probably choose a wheat ale but if i was choosing which one tastes better overall i'd probably choose the the narnia one Mm -hmm. it's really good it's really tasty they did a good job Mm -hmm. yeah i mean i think it's universal here i i'm in the same boat the narnia is I just think it's it's a more unique beer. The 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 notes to that beer it just makes it unique and it's refreshing. It meets all the characteristics that you see on the can as described. Um, the wheat ale from from um, uh, Oso is really really good too. But it's it's plain Jane from the perspective of it's a standard style and and you know I think I got to give it to Narnia. So. Our final awesome. two, our championship round, is against, um, it is the Sour from Company Brewing in alphabetical order against uh, Narnia Business um, from Carbon 4. So um, I guess let's give these one, yeah. more, one more little taste and then we we'll start? go around Whatever and pick a champion. Yeah. Start okay. with the Sour. Or that. <laughs> Josh is commanding <laughs> That's so good. I, it's the more I drink it, the more I'm liking it. Mm-hmm. The sour? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I'm kind of getting that too. Yeah. Same here. All right, and the Narnia. Plus, if you're going by the style of mm-hmm. beer, it's just like the quintessential sour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got a little bit of fruit, oh, fruitiness to it for the extra flavor. You've got the tartness. Mm-hmm. And- are the two very different beers too. Drinking back to back is yeah. actually really good. It adds a nice uh, <laughs> uh-huh. tartness yeah. to the uh, the Narnia. All right, well we'll start on the outside here. Molly, I'm still I'm, I'm still Amber? getting it all. Making a decision. Oh, hold on. We got time then. We got time. Hey, let's start with the <laughs> Milwaukee beer review, guys. Yes. All right. Well, I guess if we're gonna start. I'm not a sour fan, so I'm going to go with Narnia Business purely because sours are not my thing. I I respect everything that company did with alphabetical order. It's just, if I had to choose between these two beers to drink and sit down on the couch and watch a game, I'm going with Narnia. I'm not a sour fan as well, but I'm actually going to take the alphabetical order. I I just think between the two beers, they're both really good. It's it's, it's one A and one B at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, I just think from a style standpoint, this really hits it, and it's not... An overly, overly sour where it's hard to take down or drink. I, I'm really enjoying it. It's much more refreshing than I would expect out of a sour, so I'm going to give the slight edge to company. Okay. Frank? Frank? Sure. <laughs> yeah, this is really tough for me. I'm usually not a big sour drinker, but I really like this. And it, I mean, it really depends. It, 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 it's almost a tie. It's just me. What am I feeling more that day? Now, if I want two or three beers... I'm going to go for the alphabetical order. I could drink two or three of those beers. I probably can't drink two or three of these milkshake IPAs. Yeah. They're, they're, they're big. They're indulgent. One is plenty. Even if I were to actually try to drink the entire 16-ounce can, the last little bit of that might be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, but So I'm just going to go to my knee-jerk, what did I like more? And that's going to be the Narnia business. And the carbon forehead has nothing to do with my decision. <laughs> <laughs> Just the hat that I happen to wear today. Huh, wow. uh-huh. I have no affiliation. Ooh, I won why is this guy? <laughs> I won this in a contest, and it's what I wore out of the house today. From carbon four. Convenient. Won, so. Yeah, weird. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Jenny? Um, so, I actually think I'm not a big sour fan, but I think I would go with 
alphabetical order with company. It's just, it's so solid. Um, the Narnia business is really good. Um, but kind of like what Frank said, I don't know that I could drink more than one of them. Um, and this one's really drinkable. It's a sour and it's sour, but it's really tasty. So I choose alphabetical order. Things are getting interesting. Yeah, I know. It is. This was really hard. I'm very much a fan of both styles of beer. Um, and I'm going to choose alphabetical order Ooh. for two reasons. One, mentioned by Frank and Jenny, I can't drink more than one of these. That And towards the of end the of the business. Narnia business would be a struggle, like Frank said, to at the end. And the... Um, Alphabetical order is easy to drink from start to end. You get all the flavors through the first sip, through the actual tasting, and then the back end of it mm. is just all good. So I'm I'm going sour, which is surprising for me because I love the Narnie business. But <laughs> <laughs> all right, Amber. It was funny because like right after like we couldn't figure it out for a second, I drank it a little bit and kind of same thing that Frank and they said. I kind of realized I'm like I could down a bunch of these. <laughs> Like the sour. <laughs> I could, I could, I could drink those multiple back to back all day long, but I don't think I could do that the Narnia, and for that, my head snapped to alphabetical order too. Wow! All right, oh, I'm, no. I'm, I'm very surprised. The sour win? No, nope. think the sour is no. wrong. I know. So. I thought uh, a stout would win out of all of them. Yeah, but. I did too. I, I thought we're like, okay, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go through the motions. The stout's gonna win. Um, but I think the funny thing is, like, if we look at just we had to like rank like. Which ones we enjoy probably the most as far as everything. I think actually the probably came in last as far as like yeah, yeah, the yeah, four beers sure. that they had. Mm -hmm. I think the Stouts, and they weren't bad. They just no. weren't impressive. No, um, agreed. But no, this is a lot of fun. Um, before we go, the I just want to thank our guests. You know, yes. Honestly, you guys, honestly, we, we really appreciate you guys joining and hanging out and doing this with us. We definitely want you guys on more shows. <laughs> you gave us um, free beer. Why would we not show it? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Ladies, we thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, this is awesome. Fair enough. Uh, shout out to Company Brewing uh, for taking the uh, first ever inaugural March Madness tournament from our from our Wisco Beer Challenge. So, congratulations <laughs> to Company. Is that another new name? Great <laughs> beer. It's another new name. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> at this point, um, so alphabetical order wins it. Wow. Congrats to Company. Yeah. And, um, yeah, thanks for, for watching it and checking us out uh, here on our channel. So, uh, appreciate everybody taking a look at what we're doing here. Uh, we're having a lot of fun doing this. Check out our the rest of our social media platforms. We've got Untapped, Facebook, um, we've got Instagram and Twitter rolling. Uh, we've got YouTube here. If you've had any of these beers, if you have thoughts on the champion or any of the ones that didn't quite make the cut, uh, let us know in the comments. Other than that, we'll see you in the next episode coming soon. Uh, go Badgers, and um, happy Final Four, yeah. everyone. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.